Hello, we're here at the University of New South Wales, and I'm Norman Wahlberger. We're having a look at question 27 from chapter 2 on vector geometry. This question is asking us to find parametric, point normal, and Cartesian forms for the plane through the point 1, 2, minus 2, perpendicular to the vector minus 1, 1, 2. Three different ways of describing the same plane in three-dimensional space. So let me give you a little bit of a picture here so we can uh, illustrate the strategy that we're going to take. All right, so where are these various ingredients? So here's the x, y, and z directions. Maybe we'll use a scale like that. So where's the point 1, 2, minus 2? 1 in this direction, 2 in this direction, minus 2 in the z direction. So maybe we'll extend the z direction axis a little bit. Okay. It's minus 1, minus 2. So we're going to go 1 in this direction, 2 in this direction, and down 2. So maybe right about there. There's the point. One, two, minus two. So that's a point in three-dimensional space. And now we want it to be perpendicular to the vector minus one, one, two. Where is that? Well, minus one, the, that direction there on the x-axis, and then one in the y direction, and then up uh, two in the z direction. So the vector minus 1, 1, 2 is something like that. So what we're doing is we're looking for a plane that passes through this point which is perpendicular to this vector. So if we think about translating that vector to there, then we can visualize this plane as being the set of points which is perpendicular to the vector minus 1, 1, 2 and happens to pass through there. Okay, so how are we going to get these various uh, forms for it? Well, probably the uh, simplest form is the point normal form if we're already given a point and a normal. Normal means perpendicular direction. So we're given the point and the normal, so the point normal form is the simplest to write down. So what is the point normal form? Of a plane? Well, it's an equation of the form n dot x minus c equals 0, where n is the normal or perpendicular vector and where C is a coordinate vector for a point on the plane and where X is the vector X, Y, Z of variables that are going to be involved in the equation of the plane. So let me explain this equation here. Where does it come from? Well, it comes from the following uh, picture. If we take uh, this point here, that's, that's the point uh, C, well, more specifically, this is actually the vector C. Okay? Uh, the coordinate vector from the origin to this point is C. This vector here would be N. In our picture, that's also n. And a general point on the plane, maybe we'll put it here, is represented by this vector x, where this is actually a point on the plane as well. Okay. So what this vector equation is telling us is that if you take the difference between x and c, so x minus c, well, that's going to be this vector right here. So that is x minus minus c, because it's 
the coordinate vector of x minus the coordinate vector of c. So it's the vector going from this point to this point. And n dot that vector equals 0 is the condition that those two vectors are perpendicular. So n dot this vector is 0 is ensuring that this vector is perpendicular to the normal direction. That will ensure that this x stays on the plane which uh, is passing through C and perpendicular to N. Okay, so in our situation, the solution is N is the vector minus 1, 1, 2. The vector X is the vector X, Y, and Z. And the point C is the point 1, 2, minus 2, so its coordinate vector is the vector 1, 2, minus 2. All of that equal to 0. This is the point normal form. For the plane. All right, so how would we get it? to the Cartesian form. To get a Cartesian form, we just expand out the point normal form. So the Cartesian form is, so when we expand this out using a dot product, the dot product between this vector and x, y, z is minus 1 times x, plus 1 times y, plus 2 times z. And then we have to subtract the dot product between this one and this one, which is minus 1 times 1, plus 1 times 2, plus 2 times minus 2. And all of that should equal 0 on the right-hand side. And if we simplify that, we get minus x plus y plus 2z. And we could perhaps take everything to the other side. It's often a common thing to do. What's inside the brackets here is minus 5 plus 2. That's minus 3. The minus sign. So if we bring it to the other side, we'll have minus 3. How could we check whether that's actually perhaps correct? Well, we're told that this plane passes through the point 1, 2, minus 2. So we can check, does the point 1, 2, minus 2 actually satisfy the equation? Well, if you plug it in, you get minus 1 there, plus 2, minus 4. So minus 1, plus 2, total of plus 1, minus 4. That is indeed minus 3. So that equation is satisfied by that point there. And furthermore, you can see that the coefficients of x, y, and z, which are minus 1, 1, and 2, are exactly the coefficients of the normal vector. So there's an intimate connection between the coefficients of the x, y, and z in the plane and the coordinates of the normal vector. Okay, so how do we get a parametric form for this plane? Well, that means we need to get it in the form a point well, let's write it like this, x equals we want a point on the plane, well we already have that 1, 2, minus 2 and now we want two vectors which lie on the plane direction vectors. So we're looking for two vectors which have the property that they're lying in the plane and that's basically exactly the same as saying that they're perpendicular to minus 1, 1, 2. So we need to cook up two vectors, say uh, v1 and mu times v2 where v1 and v2 both have the property that they're perpendicular to minus 1, 
1, 2. And they should be in different directions. So can we do that? Let's rub this off. Give us some room. Okay, so how do we cook up a vector which is perpendicular to minus 1, 1, 2? All we want is a vector whose dot product with this one is 0. Well, you have lots of choices here. Certainly not unique. So I'm just going to make some choices, all right? So my first choice, I'm going to choose a simple vector. Maybe the vector 1, 1, 0. Do you agree that that's actually perpendicular to this? It is because if you take the dot product, it's minus 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 0. And we need a second one, mu times, well, let's choose a vector, say, whose first component is 0. And then if a dot product is going to be 0, we could maybe choose minus 2 and 1. All right. So there are two vectors that I've pulled out of the hat, which are perpendicular to this one. That's the only requirement necessary. And just make sure that they're not multiples of each other. And then this is a parametric form. x equals a point on the plane plus some multiples of two vectors, which are direction vectors or line parallel to the plane. 